yet. Fairly subtle, but right. it was a good clue. So, and I guess you were kind of introduced to that mechanic a few minutes ago of those, those specific type of beams with that texture on it right here are weak. And uh, I think I, one was wedged in a door and I had to break it to open it, right? All right, subtle, but, you know, not too subtle. I probably should have noticed that. surface. Uh, hopefully this isn't timed. But... Again with no guardrails. Jeez, you guys are really unsafe here. the red button I didn't think it would work. Oh great, there's a big fight coming up too. So yeah, these last two maps are ones I have not played much at all. Or not played at all. Most beta tester. Yeah, I mean, I suppose I could try to run through this fight, but uh, they're also tough to get up the ramp with all those head maps, so... That was a much better toss. Maybe they were all down here. There's a whole bunch... Oh, yeah, it's coming from the canister. Well, this is what I'll do. Save. Twice. Can I get through here now?
got him. <laughs> Damn, more morphine, jeez. Please. Give me a break, you. Unforgiving, man. You, I'm not scared of. As long as there's nobody else around. yourself out there, Chief. Yeah, it was a little too much zombie, and I think they were the novel new enemy in episode one, and he, he might have gone overboard here. It's funny they didn't fix that node graph thing. Jeez. Well, not funny, but I guess not surprising. Further insults my former combine masters. Yeah, let's see. yeah, I like the look of this area. Destroyed or not. I liked it when I first came through. Unfortunately, there were elites waiting for me. And turrets. Oh my god, are you kidding me? up for once. Did I miss anything back here? Yeah, so that's uh, well done, you know. Backtracking sort of through a familiar, again, sort of familiar environment. You know, different path, things are destroyed. Somebody set up the God awful turrets again. Why would you go from, you know, combine all zombines all over the place to back to turrets? Oh, no! Now you tell me lovingly reprogrammed to no longer target me. Oh, I don't like you very much at all. Nothing up here. 
here, right? No. Except now, you know, with the gift of the turrets, it kind of makes you progress at a snail's pace. Oh, you stay there and guard that. And it go up. Right, because you got to carry this everywhere. You than shooting at myself, to be honest. Nice mechanic. You don't see it used much, to be honest. Oh. I guess that's the way we have to go. Where is it now? <laughs> yeah, my priority get to the surface, don't stop. By the way, here's two turrets to uh, slow you down. Episode 1, am I missing a valve handle? No, I actually don't see a place for it. Alright. Enough with the zombines, my god. Yeah, let me throw an infinite number of zombines in your face. By the way, you need, need to make your way through them to escape to the surface. Give me a goddamn break. Come on. Well, that should help. They really are, like, infinitely spawning, aren't they? There's gotta be 20 of them. 
Nope, 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 nope. No, I'm mostly surrounded. Yeah, forget it. What the hell? Anybody know where I'm supposed to be going? I could have sw uh, Nope. I thought it was supposed to be a threat to put a grenade here, maybe? Looks like I'm supposed to get through to this. I don't see a plug anywhere to disable this. Am I gonna have to go down to the infinite spawning zombines and make my way through there? Oh, there we go. Well, oh. Nope. I think I need to. Uh, is there a gap here or what? How do I go? Oh, right through here. That's what I need to do. Alright, I missed that. that blow up the upper? Yeah, a little bit of back and forth here. What did you do to my nice turrets? No, what? Leave me alone. Steam doesn't hurt you. It was a little frustrating. <laughs> Wait, do I complain about every puzzle I come across? <laughs> no, I just want the stairs. Let me go. That's it. I just want to. Shooting the headcrabs, it's alright. An escape route. You have a surprise waiting for me. Thank you. Finally, I'm surprised. Is a gravity gun that I can't use. The far side of this island next to the old sea arch. Well, let me guess. There's going to be jerks in my way. With the turn. So, is that rocket? Yeah. Then where's my rocket launcher? Well, I've given rocket ammo, but I think that's just a tease at the moment. Elevator offline. Goes. You're coming with me, buddy. You get to shoot guys. Wait, 
go down to go. No, I just came this way. <laughs> Bear with me. <laughs> there we go. This is much better. You sit here. Yeah, talk about. So, one of the things that Minerva really did well was kind of the claustrophobic feel. So even though you're sometimes in huge wide open combine areas like that pulse generator at the bottom and the, the big shaft with the uh, you know the vertical uh, uh, whatever, pulse dampeners is you really feel claustrophobic for a lot of it. You, you kind of I got a sense I was really really far underground and I think that is pretty effective. So even though if you Environments are relatively wide open. Uh, are you gonna shoot them or what? Come on. Um, relatively wide open. The uh, I felt claustrophobic. I felt trapped. Is this turret even working? No. What good are you? How do I even oh, this? Wait, those are. That's not my ship. You're, I don't want you either. Oh, okay. Intense battle here. I'm just gonna go this way. Should I go back down? I think I left some health down there. I'm just kidding. the sea arch. Well, I'm having fun shooting these guys. This guy's been shooting me all game. Five bucks, somebody's gonna sneak up behind me. Oh, hey, I knew it. Different sky, different lighting. I don't know if that's sunrise or sunset. Very cool. The nice framing too, the way you kind of walk through here and see the sun. Yeah. This part's well done. Open battle here at least gives you a chance to avoid the stupid leaping zombies. They're much more terrifying when you're sort of in a claustrophobic uh, area. Is that a. Oh god, there's guys behind me too. That. Ah, rocket launcher. Destroy the gunship. Ah, yeah, great. I certainly need more than three rockets.
<laughs> I have a rocket launcher and I will use it. Chopper. Time to get the balls out of here. Oh, yes. <laughs> Uh, I wish there was a little more of that. I wish the gunship could have come in. This this gunship could have come in earlier, shot down some of the zombies off of you, and then you had the battle with the combine gunship. That would have been cool. Alright guys, that is the end of Minerva Metastasis. Um, Metastasis was the four, the group of four maps, is this, the supposed first chapter of a bigger work, but uh, it is what it is now. It doesn't leave you hanging, it's got a good ending. Yeah, it certainly had its frustrations, but I think this stands up as a classic, especially seeing how the first map was released in 2005. Hey, there I am. Credited beta tester, even though <laughs> I only played half of it. Nobody told anybody. Yeah, that was about, it was over two and a half hours. I think I started a little after uh, 9.10. I have to check the recording, but yeah. Two and a half years in the making, Adam says. Well, it ultimately, among his, you know, in addition to his skills and I'm sure, you know, personality and whatnot, landed him a job at Valve and he's done great things there. Portal 2 especially. Maybe even further Half-Life episodes, we'll see. Yeah, well, one thing I do know he did at Valve was certainly the... Um, uh, the ARG, the alternate reality game for Portal 2, if you remember that build-up. That was a lot of mystery, a lot of investigation, uh, you know, a 
lot of interesting old computer terms and, and sort of a voice guiding you. Very Adam Foster-esque. <laughs> if, if he has a style, that was certainly it. So um, I appreciate everybody watching um, uh, and look forward to a gold source mod for next month. I've already got it picked out, but we'll reveal it just a, a day or two ahead of time. So thanks guys for watching. Um, any questions, you know, feel free to comment on the, uh, the Minerva post or in the general discussion that, ch that Philip has. The a no, the ARG wasn't a mod. It was, um, uh, I don't know how to describe it. The best way is to probably Google it. It was a series of sort of real life clues or events, and it ended up being the, um, like the potato bundle. Uh, so if you had, it went through a series of steps that the community sort of had to solve, not knowing what the game was. And near the end, they, they uh, collaborated with 10 indie developers. Um, to, so if you bought these games on Steam, these indie games on Steam, and played them, and the, the total sort of accumulated play time reached their target, you would shave off hours of the Portal 2 release. So it ended up being not that much. I think it was released, what, like 20 hours earlier than it was slated to. But it was a nice sort of advertising campaign and, and you know, hype building for Portal 2 in the, oh, it's probably only a, a week or so before the actual Portal 2 release. So um, the, it's worth reading about, certainly. It was a, I didn't really participate in it. I was kind of watching what was going on. But it certainly had Adam Foster's fingerprints all over it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to alternate source and gold source mods. Um, yeah, next next couple I've already got picked out. So. Yeah, right. A lot of those indie games that were for sale added small updates or modifications to include. I think it was called the like the potato bundle or something like that um, to include some hints at Portal 2's content. Yeah, the, the first one I can think of is the I Love Bees campaign for Halo 2, I think it was. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so that's why everybody kind of jumps at any hint of a Half-Life 3, uh, you know, hint, let's say, you know, a hint or key. Uh, they think it could be the start of a new ARG pointing toward the release of the next Half-Life, but I think people are mostly grasping at straws. It'll come when it comes. All right, thanks again, guys. I'll see you next month, if not sooner, with uh, maybe a, a different stream with Philip. Bye.